Hi everyone and welcome back. So in this video we are going to talk about another super simple application shopping cart application. I mean this example is already available on the Svelte.js compiler examples. I wanted to just highlight a couple of points so I, I am going to talk about this example. This is simple couple of products. We have you click on add to cart they will get added to the cart. Our data will be updated and then you can add or delete the quantity increase or decrease the quantity of these items inside the car it's a super simple application but we are going to simplify a lot of concepts with this with the help of this example so what do i have already i have a couple of things already set up the styles product list and the cart list okay so my output is not visible because i don't have the the code working right now so I have these products three products are already there what I'm going to do is I'm going to one by one I'm going to define all the methods first of all these products so how can we iterate and show them on the UI using each uh, expression we can do for each on the product list each products and we can just show these information and then on click DOM event so on click DOM event we have add to cart those methods we are going to define we are getting the product so let's try to understand all these methods here here we are getting product so what we are going to do we are going to update the products uh, update the cart so first of all let's say the item which you are going to add is that available in the products or not sorry is it available already in the cart or not because if it is there we will just increase the quantity so cart dot find we have id we can compare it with the product which we are passing let's say if uh, we found this item already there in the cart then we will do something else what we will do is we will just uh, we are just increasing the quantity else we are just going to update the value in the else case this is the new card these are the reactive assignments we are doing okay the new array with the existing card and the new product this is how our add to cart can work now what is the other method we have so we are showing all these products we have add to cart we have other methods like plus item and the minus item once these items added to the cart you can increase and decrease the quantity okay so this is pure add to cart let's say add the quantity so we have plus and we have minus we are going to add these two methods plus item and minus item plus item and minus item okay two other methods we have let's uh, see these methods now so plus item so plus item means the item is already there we are just going to increase the quantity so looks like this should be simple we are just passing the product if product is there we just increase the quantity and update the cart minus item first we will try to find the product is there if it is there and here is a check if it is there and the item quantity should be greater than and equal to greater than one then you can decrease it by minus uh, decrease it by one if it is not there then you have to remove that right you have to remove that particular item let's say if your current item quantity is one and you click on minus then you have to remove that item from the cart so i can just simply say is cart cart equal to cart dot filter and return me all the items where id is not equal equal to product dot id give me all the items except that particular item whose quantity is less so this is minus item plus item do we need anything else in the plus item uh, looks like nothing now we also need to calculate the total right so here we can use a dollar expression how we use dollar expression dollar total 
this is the value we wanted to calculate every time whenever you are adding the item in the cart or removing the item from the cart cart dot reduce because we need a single output single value coming from this we can just use uh, array dot reduce and here accumulator and the initial value sum and the item and what we are going to do we are going to sum the previous iteration value with the new iteration value which is item dot item multiply by price item sorry item dot price it is item dot price multiplied by item dot quantity and this whole is initialized with zero the accumulator so sum is initially zero then it is item dot price and quantity yeah and we got the value of total which we are printing somewhere and these are the buttons for each and every product let's see if uh, we can get this working when i click on add to cart nothing is happening so let's see this is my add to cart i'm adding this cart to the product and first i'm trying to find in the add to cart if this item is available or not so cart dot find initially this item will be null if item is null okay this is incorrect you can see we added addition okay now this looks correct i think we somehow mixed up the methods if item is there increase the quantity re reassign the cart and then add two items looks like a mixed couple of things okay let me revert the method name the minus item this should be add to cart and this should be minus item okay so the add to cart should be increase the quantity okay add it then i can able i'm able to increase the quantity decrease the quantity gone you keep adding quantity is increasing and we are using this watcher expression with the help of that i'm able to calculate the count every okay so this is a simple example how it is working we have the list we are we are iterating onto it and triggering the dom events through the buttons like add to cart and passing the products and then uh, for this internal items because now inside a cart we got all these items we are iterating onto the cart using same for each and if the quantity is greater than zero then only we are showing the items otherwise we don't need to have that uh, product in the cart and then we have these two buttons plus item and minus item so this is very simple example i just wanted to talk about the reactivity of the svelte here like how we are updating the data and how that is getting updated